police were locked in the hotel. ABC's Megan Hughes has the breaking details. At 7 a.m. local time, attackers armed with guns and grenades reportedly smash a vehicle with diplomatic license plates through hotel security barriers. They yell, God is great in Arabic, and fire automatic weapons, taking 170 people hostage. Malian soldiers and U.N. troops around the hotel, U.S. military personnel help move civilians to safety. Many are rescued, including six Americans. In a verified Twitter account, a Mali government official says the gunmen are no longer holding any hostages. The Radisson Blue in Bamako is a popular hotel with Westerners and a UN delegation was meeting there. President Obama was briefed in Malaysia today. We're monitoring the situation. The French president says, I would ask all French nationals currently in sensitive countries to take all the necessary precautions. We are taking all the uh, necessary steps in order to uh, solve that crisis. This comes on the heels of the worst terror attack in the history of Paris, twin suicide bombings in Beirut, and the downing of a Russian airliner in Egypt, all within the past month. The U.S. Embassy in Mali is also near that hotel. U.S. citizens there have been told to stay home or shelter in place. Megan Hughes, ABC News, Washington. And it has been one week now since those deadly attacks in Paris. The French prime minister now says the death toll from those attacks has risen to 130. Now, all of this comes as French President Francois Hollande has ordered the intensification of airstrikes on ISIS and targets in both Syria and Iraq. The leader behind last week's attacks, Abdelhamid Abaoud, was killed in a raid earlier this week, along with a female suicide bomber now identified as his cousin. We learned a third body was discovered in the rubble overnight from the raid, but has not yet been identified. And here at home, the FBI sends dozens of suspected radicals in the United States are on tight surveillance. Officials fear they might try to copycat an attack. ISIS released its third propaganda video this week, threatening the U.S., this time promising to turn the White House black with fire. We are operating around the clock to uncover and disrupt any plot. We are not aware of any credible threat here of a Paris-type attack. Federal law enforcement agencies say there are a total of 900 current terror investigations in every state. Secretary of Defense Ash Carter says the U.S. is prepared to change the rules of engagement in the fight against ISIS, saying we will defeat the terror group. Another plane grounded this noon because of a bomb threat. This most recent case was down in Fort Lauderdale. The Spirit Airlines flight was forced to make an emergency landing late last night. Sheriff's deputies say the Airbus was heading to Minneapolis when one of the passengers allegedly made the threat. The plane immediately turned around, and we know bomb squads swept the plane for explosives but did not find anything. Officials say two men are being interviewed by the Sheriff's Office as well as the FBI. And make sure you stay with ABC7 as we continue to cover the terror threat, both overseas and here at home. We've got the latest on ABC7, our sister station, News Channel 8, as well as online at WJLA.com. You can also download our free ABC7 News mobile app. Well, let's turn now to your Friday forecast, taking a live look out at the Capitol and Pennsylvania Avenue. Cooler and breezier conditions out there today. Let's head over to Chief Meteorologist Doug Hill for a look at the forecast. Hey, Doug. Hey, Jimmy. This time yesterday, that same shot you just showed, uh, we couldn't see very much, kind of shrouded in fog with the rain. It was warmer. We were in the mid-60s. Today, only 54. But look, we've got crystal clear skies outside the Belford Furniture Weather Center and also looking from our vantage point live now at National Harbor. Just a delightful day, all due to high pressure and gusty northwesterly winds bringing in the drier air 52 in Frederick 51 in Hagerstown now 54 in Manassas and Dale City 53 degrees in Annapolis well here the sustained wind speeds as of midday here sustained out of the northwest anywhere from 13 to 18 miles per hour it is a dry breeze and if you're in the sunshine it's comfortable but as we get through the day and especially toward the sunset with the breeze it's going to get kind of chilly on us so we'll call for a high of 55 with the sunshine northwesterly winds at 5 to 15 high pressure continues to dominate will give us another beautiful day tomorrow 
tomorrow, but a few clouds late in the day as we get another cold front. We're not going to get this storm, but we'll talk more about this and we'll have travel impacts. That snow we're seeing over portions of the Midwest. We'll talk about our travel weather too in just a few minutes, Jimmy. Oh, no snow there, Doug. OK, thank you. Well, developing now, police are investigating an accident that sent a car crashing into a dorm at Howard University. Now, this was on the scene of the 200 block of Fourth Street Northwest early this morning. Witnesses say the car crashed into Bethune Dorm Hall. The driver was arrested at the scene for reckless driving, and fortunately, no one was injured. We also have new information this noon about the Secret Service officer.